hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative but cool looking text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool tips and tricks inside of adobe illustrator and adobe after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started first of all here we are in adobe illustrator now i have created this document in illustrator height and width of this document is 1920 by 180 over here now i'm going to select my text tool over here like this and for the font i'm going to choose somewhere around oswald font or but you are free to choose any font you want over here uh, i'm going to choose oswald font so let's see or you can type over here like that okay so this is oswald light or oswald regular i'm going to choose and let's type our text i'm going to type motion over here hit ctrl a and let's uh, increase the font size i'm going to choose 200 like this let's select this and try to adjust it over here like this yeah this looks good to me okay yeah this looks good now after that if you want uh, then uh, you can decrease the height width according to your needs okay let's uh, adjust it somewhere around like this yeah this looks good to me like this and let's go to the character menu over here and i won't need to decrease the distance between these alphabets also like this okay then select this uh, then go over here and choose properly alignment like this now select this text and hit ctrl c to copy create a new layer and press ctrl shift v to paste in place let's hide this first layer and over here press t and let's change our text i'm going to type design again then select this uh, then go to the align tab align it horizontally vertically and let's hide this for, and let's focus on this one now i'm going to select this text right click and i'm going to choose create outlines okay so we will get this kind of outlines after that uh, let's go inside this and inside this group as you guys can see each and every one is layered differently so select on this group then click on this icon then go over here and choose release layers to sequence so simply click on it and by holding shift i'm going to simply drag it downwards select this and let's delete this extra layer like this okay so now we have two different layers one is design and one is this uh, separated alphabets over here okay and now i'm going to save this file and then right now i'm going to go in after effects and let's create a new composition we are going to call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 30 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection then i'm going to press ctrl i on my keyboard and i'm going to select this illustrator file import as i am going to choose composition return layers and sizes and simply hit import then simply drag and drop this comp over here and click on this icon make sure and double click to open this then press ctrl k to open the project settings and we are going to change the color of this one to white one and simply hit ok and hit ok we will hide first this design layer i mean this text over here simply select all of them and enable this icon now i am going to select this alphabetical layers right click go to the create and choose shapes from vector layers so simply click on it and let's bring them at the top select all of this and let's delete those layers okay we don't need that now each and every layer is separated now let's try to animate them so simply select all of them and press p for position create one keyframe then press t for opacity create another keyframe or instead of that let's hit ctrl z we will do this animation later but first i need to do the animation of their path so i'm going to select all of them and in search option i'm going to type path over here so what will happen automatically they are going to show me the path keyframes so we need to create one keyframe on path option over here on each and every alphabet okay like this then simply hit u so you can see only path keyframes then zoom in go to around one second again hit ctrl a 
create keyframe on each and everyone's path okay like this now let's go to the start and now we will focus uh, on this animation select all of these keyframes and hit f9 then go to somewhere around over here at this point and now we will start to animate let's make this full resolution let's create cre select this keyframe and select your selection tool uh, let's select this much portion by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and select this and move this handle over here like this okay so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation same procedure i'm going to follow for this o select those keyframe select this much portion by holding by holding shift move this one over here select this and move this one over here select this portion by holding shift move this over here select sorry uh, select this select this much area and by holding shift bring this downwards same procedure for this eye select this keyframe select this much portion by holding shift move this over here select this move this over here then select this select this icon select this much portion shift hold upwards then select this much area shift hold bring them downward then select this i'm going to select this area bring this upward select this area bring this downward okay so if you see this animation now you will get this kind of stretchy animation okay now select those keyframe hit f9 okay and let's bring them up to one second over here and now we will try to do our animation of position and uh, uh, opacity let's move this up to 1.10 frames not one second okay then press p for position create one keyframe then press t for opacity okay now let's create one keyframe at opacity and p for on position keyframe then hit u go to around one second let's create another keyframe on position and opacity then go to the start and now i'm going to change the position somewhere around like move them over here or move them downward like this now select those keyframe uh, uh sorry uh, also initially make their opacity zero okay so we will get this kind of animation then select those keyframe and hit f9 then go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this so we'll get something like this same thing i'm going to select for this path go to the graph editor select this hold shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here okay so if you see we'll get this and then this okay now uh, i need uh, to take a uh, frame distance of 5 5 frames so i'll go to the 5 frames i'll select this o with the help of open square bracket move this over here move this over here move this over here move this over here and move this over here okay so if i see this animation i'll get something like this okay like this now this is this now let's select all of these layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as black text and hit ok now select this and hit ctrl d i'll go to the fill uh, i'm effect and presets and i'm going to search for effect call fill and let's double click to apply and this time i'm going to choose this somewhere around this uh, you know neon color like this now we'll get this animation first and then this now uh, we are what we, we will select this comp hit enter and let's call it as green text okay now press ctrl y to create one solid background uh, and choose white color hit ok and let's bring this backward and let's lock this again press ctrl y and this time i'm going to change the color of this one to black one and hit ok and let's bring this downwards okay let's close this now let's uh, hide this green text i want this black text should first start to animate then at this point i want this black color should start to animate so i'll bring this over here let's enable this and with the help of open square bracket i'll move this over here press s unlink this create one keyframe at start go few frame forward 
and I'll create another keyframe or you can simply go inside this green text hit you you can check out where is the last keyframe which is at this point so at this point you can stretch this animation like this okay then go over here and initially the scale should be zero then select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift uh, move one handle over here then move another handle over here so i'll get this kind of stuff okay so if i see first get, get this then i'll get this then i'm going to select this and hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as mask over here and let's bring this at the top enable this green text select this press f4 and choose alpha mask so i'll get something like this so first i'll get this then i'll get this similarly i'm going to select this mask over here hit ctrl d let's bring this to this black text over here or i don't need to create any animation for the black text okay so first this and then we will get this okay like this now after that i'm going to right click new and create one adjustment layer i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i will search for blur effect uh, and i'm going to apply gaussian blur and let's increase the blurriness to 400 like this make sure to choose uh, repeat h pixels let's choose blurriness 200 not like this or let's say 100 maybe and try to bring this over here like this okay over here okay or let's make this 40 and let's see yeah let's try to bring this over here also select this hit ctrl d and let's try to bring one downwards like this so first i'll get this then i'll get this now we have this design text over here let's bring this at the top go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and choose white color and let's bring this over here press s let's increase the scale press f4 press ctrl alt home and let's try to adjust it over here or instead of uh, select creating this over here hit ctrl t and we will type design separately over here in after effects select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s and let's increase the size of this and choose oswald font and choose semi bold version increase the distance between these alphabets go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press ctrl alt home then select this and we will try to animate this layer at this point i want the animation should start so i'll simply move this over here then i'll go to the animate menu and choose position and let's bring this downward let's go and create one keyframe at start uh, hit space bar a little bit and then let's make this 100 then select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here like this then we'll go to the add property and we will choose opacity and let's make this opacity zero initially like this okay so we'll get something like this along with that i'm going to choose property and choose tracking and initially tracking amount i'm going to increase it like this okay over here so if we see first i'll get this then i'll get this then select this press uh, s to scale it go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply and increase the drop shadow somewhere around like this and in also increase the opacity let's increase the softness and instead of black i'm going to pick up this green color and i'm going to choose dark green color somewhere around like this okay and you can go to the character menu and you can decrease the alphabet's vertical distance somewhere around like this and try to adjust it properly the size like this then select this hit ctrl d select the second layer delete the fill 
and we will choose white color for this stroke and stroke width i'm going to choose 0.2 and with the help of arrow keys let's try to adjust it over here like this okay then select this layer hit ctrl d select this and let's increase the size of it somewhere around like this and let's bring this backward over here and this time i'm going to choose stroke width 0.1 or 0 0.05 or some 0 0.05 or something like this okay so very small so now if i see this animation first i'll get this then i'll get this okay now i can right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null over here or instead of that you can go to the main animation you can press p alt click on your stopwatch and type wiggle 2 comma 2 so now if you see this animation over here you will get this kind of wiggly effect and press ctrl y to create one background black background and bring this downwards over here you can select this and make the scale 105 a little bit okay or initially let's make this 120 scale create one keyframe and as the animation goes further i'm going to reduce this scale to 100 somewhere around over here and i'll hit n over here okay i hit n so now if i see i'll get first this and then this now along with that if you want some extra elements in this animation then you can select ellipse you can delete fill over here you can add white color for the stroke and by holding shift you can create one ellipse and choose stroke width to one pixels select this press ctrl alt home hit ctrl d let's move this over here let's disable the snapping let's increase the size hit ctrl d let's adjust the size accordingly hit ctrl d let's adjust the size accordingly select this and let's increase this to four pixels okay you can select this all four go to the effect and presets panel and over here you can apply wiggle position effect so it will create wiggle animation over here so if i see i'll get this and then this now you can select this layer as well and you can apply transform effect on it okay if you apply this transform effect and if you increase this q value to let's say minus 4 so you will get a little bit of tilt okay like this so this is how you can create this kind of text reveal animation inside of after effects like this i'm going to increase the distance okay and if i see in full resolution i'll get this kind of results and you can right click new and create one adjustment layer you can go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect and double click to apply then you can increase the glow radius to 50 glow intensity to 0.2 or 0.5 and glow threshold to 90 like this okay so what will happen it will add a little bit of glow in your animation like this okay so you will get this kind of results and uh, i would suggest uh, that this design text over here at last we need to give some motion so press p and zoom out a little bit uh, initially let's change the position somewhere around over here create one keyframe and as it animation goes up further i am going to move this from here to here okay so uh, along with this we will get a little bit of animation over there as well so yep this is how you can create this kind of text reveal animation let's in uh, let's select this and decrease the intensity of this glow to let's say 0.3 or something yeah 